There was a lot of questions growing up about who Jesus is, and people were always asking, who is he, who is he? My poem is entitled, The Greatest Man in History. Who is this man of Galilee? The angel said that he has a name that moves the heart of God. His name disintegrates every impossibility. The name that dissolves mountains. His name is sweeter and greater than every other name. His name is? Jesus. <laughs> now reading correctly, this name, let's see how it fits in and folds with our disciplines of study. First, in archaeology, evidence supports the fact that his body could not be located after three days in the tomb that he was buried. In astronomy, he is the morning star. In agricultural science, he cursed the fig tree and it never gave rise again. In accounting, he paid his tax and that of his disciples with money that he had ordered the disciples to take from the mouth of a fish. In biology, a man and a woman did not meet together before he was born, but rather he was born of the Virgin Mary. In botany, he is the rose of Shem. In chemistry, he turned water into wine. In core mathematics, he disproved the operation of addition by saying that one plus one plus one is equal to one. In commerce, he stopped the buying and the selling that was going on in the temple, and he called that temple the house of prayer. In the English language, he is the word. For in the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among men. In economics, he disproved the law of scarcity by feeding 5,000 men, besides women and children, with five loaves of fishes and two, five loaves of bread and two fish. In government, all principalities, kingdoms, and powers shall bow at the mention of his name, for he is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, he is wonderful counselor, and he's the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. In history, he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who is to come. Hallelujah. In English literature, he is the man of parables. In medicine, the blind soul, the deaf heard, the leper walked, and the lame walked as well. Sorry, the leper was cleansed, that's it, and the lame walked. All of this without a simple pill or simple like surgical operation, there was nothing. In physics one, he disproved the law of flotation by walking on water. In physics 2, he disproved the law of the force of gravity by ascending into heaven 40 days after his resurrection. Jesus had no servants, yet they called him master. He had no degree, yet they called him teacher. He had no medicine, and yet they called him healer. He had no army, and kings feared him. He won no military battles, and yet he conquered the world. He committed no crime, and yet they crucified him. He was buried in a tomb, and yet, and yet, he lives today. Who is he? He is the greatest man in history. 